Welcome to question number six, part A. In this question, you're given that sine theta equals five cos theta, and for one mark, asked to find the value of tan theta. Okay, so you might like to pause the video, come back when ready, see if you got the same answer. Okay, welcome back, see how you got on. We're asked to find the value of tan theta for one mark, so it can't be too difficult. And if we look closely, we should know that tan theta is sine theta over cos theta. So that would tell us that what we've got to do is divide both sides of the equation by cos theta. So if we do that, we are therefore going to have that sine theta over cos theta okay, is going to equal simply 5. And sine theta over cos theta then is the tan theta. So we finish with tan theta equals 5. So hopefully you got that one. Well done if you did. And that's going to give you one mark. Okay, we move on to part B. So in part B, here it is. Part B, we're asked to solve, or hence or otherwise it says, solve this equation, sine theta equals 5 cos theta, for values of theta between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. And we're asked to give our answers to one decimal place. OK, so you might like to uh, try that. Just pause the video and come back when ready. OK, welcome back. See how you got on with this one. Well, hence or otherwise, well, normally it's best to always do the hence. Hence meaning that uh, use what we've just found. Obviously, sine theta equaled 5 cos theta led to tan theta equaling 5. So we'd follow that through with, therefore, tan theta equaled 5. OK, so what we would now need to do is find the inverse tan of 5. So that's the inverse tan of 5. OK, so uh, let's see how we're going to do this. Now, we could obviously just dive on the calculator and get an answer. But there's going to be more than one answer, and uh, I'm going to use the quadrant method, which I always think is a much quicker way than using a graphical method of finding all the solutions. And if you're not sure about using the quadrant method, then uh, you might like to uh, look, use one of our tutorials and come back uh, when ready. OK, so let's just see how we got on. Let's just scroll this up as well, give ourselves a little bit more room here. So we'll take that up to there. OK, so we're going to use the quadrant method. So let's just draw the four quadrants just to the side here. So we'll draw straight down there and straight across here. So we have our four quadrants. And we're looking to find out where, in this case, tan is positive. And tan is positive in the first quadrant and the third quadrant. So I'm going to draw a line equally inclined to the horizontal axis. So go like that. And then we would mark in the two angles to the horizontal line that are the same. These are going to be used to find the required angles. And we're expected to give theta between naught and 360 degrees. So starting from naught degrees here, turning anti-clockwise, this is going to be the first possible value for theta. So I'll mark that in there. And then in green, I'm going to mark in the other possible angle for theta. So it's all the way around here till we get to this line here. And that's another possible value for theta. So that's my green theta. OK, so I hope you got that. That's my quadrant diagram in brief. So we get on the calculator now and find the inverse tan of 5. Don't forget to make sure your calculator is in degrees mode. 
So if we do that, you should find that you get 78.69 and so on. So that's theta equals 78.69 and so on. Let's put a comma. And that's our red theta. OK, it's not an exact diagram. Uh, I know that doesn't look like 78 odd degrees, but uh, that's not the point. It's just to show us which quadrants theta will lie in. So it lies in the first quadrant for 78.69 degrees. Now we need to get the green theta. And we should be able to see, well, let me just mark this in first of all, that this angle in here is the 78.69 and so on. And that means that this angle here will also be 78.69. So to get green theta, it's going to be 180 degrees plus the 78.69. And if you do that, you'll find you'll get 258.69 and so on degrees. OK, let's just mark in the degrees there and there. We've been asked to give the answers to one decimal place, so therefore theta will equal 78.7 degrees and 258.7 degrees, both to one decimal place. There you go. So I hope you got that. And if you did, award yourselves three marks. Well done. And that's the end of question six.